everybody, it's me, Sissy. Today I have a Dollar Tree Christmas DIY for you. It's going to be a faux snow globe, something like this. It's a waterless snow globe. I live in the south, and this is the closest I'm probably going to get to snow for Christmas. But anyway, this is what we're going to work on today. We're going to do one that's going to be a little bit harder to do. This is the um, big hard plastic um, craft DIY ornament from Dollar Tree and then we're going to do one in the little mason jar which is much easier because the bottom will screw off. Um, I've got the little salt and pepper shaker snowman. We're going to use that. Um, that's what I uh, did in the original one. This was just the test to see and um, I made this one last night and there's some things on it that didn't work out the way I wanted so we're going to try something a little different and see if we can improve on this. But I think it's really cute um, but there are some things that I would change. Anyway, then I have this little Santa ornament that I got, figurine not an ornament, that I got from Michaels on the Black Friday sale after Thanksgiving. I think I paid a dollar fifty for them. It was regularly four ninety nine. So we've got that, and then I got a, a couple of different candle holders um, to use as I wanted to kind of prop this up, use it as a base. So we, I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but um, either one of those are cute. I really like them, so we'll see how that goes. And then I have this. LED snowflake which I thought was cute and we're going to try that and see if if we can make that light up the snow globe but anyway we'll do it together and see what we come up with um, I, when I was in the Dollar Tree I looked for some little figurines that you could put inside here um, that didn't necessarily have to be Christmas related. I really wanted a little um, frozen princess figurine. Wouldn't that be cute in the snow globe if you have somebody who liked Frozen or Hello Kitty or Mickey Mouse you could do a snow globe for them. But anyway um, we are going to be using a, a tool that some of you may have, some of you may not have. Um, you can do this craft if you don't have a Dremel tool, but I'm going to use my Dremel to cut the hole bigger in the plastic ball. You could do it with a hacksaw. I, the, in the test one I did, I did try using a hacksaw, but all I had was one from the Dollar Tree and it was not the best hacksaw in the world. So I think that if you had a, a good one with a nice sharp blade that would stay tight, you could saw right through that plastic. But Anyway, I'm going to use the Dremel tool, and I'm going to show you all that, and um, let me clean this stuff up, and we'll okay, get right so to it. Okay, so we're going to take, this is the larger, um, they have some smaller ones, I think they've got small ones you can get two for a dollar, and you could do those also, um, the, you just have the tinier figurines. My figurines are kind of big, so I'm going to have to cut the base off of this ball. So, first thing we're going to do is pop the cap off, and then I have a Dremel 4000. They have some that are smaller, um, that go slower, not as many RPMs, but mine has a speed control on it, and I'm going to set it on like 15, and I have, there's probably a better blade for this, but I'm using what I had, and this is just a grinding blade, so I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to make sure my speed's right. I don't want it too fast, because if it's going too fast, it will melt the plastic, um, which I did on the other one, but... That might be a little too fast. I'm going to turn it down. And then we're just going to gently, don't try to press it in because it'll kind of drip it out your hand, but we're going to just place it against the plastic. It'll dig in a little bit. And we're just going to do a section at a time. I might need to speed it up a little bit. I'm going to put it on 15. Yeah, that's better. And I'm not pressing it. I'm just laying it against the plastic until it gets through. I made a mistake on the other one of trying to go too fast. And I actually melted the plastic and had a really ugly cut. And 
lots of burns. It look good. So this is going much better. If y'all know what blade I should have really been using on this, can somebody please put it in the comments? I'm, I'm forgetting myself. Um, the trick I figured out last night when I was trying this was just take a nice cup, sit your ball in it, and that way you don't press on it and um, dent in your ball. So that'll be much better. So we'll, we'll try it again now. didn't make near as much a mess as I made on the last one. So now I'm going to get my scissors and we're just going to lightly scrape on here and get these burrs off. Okay, so I've got it all cut out with the um, Dremel tool and some of my um, edges are kind of ragged so I'm not going to take my nice sharp scissors and you can see I'm just clipping the excess that's sticking up. I know I can't get all of it, but I want this to fit as flat as I can get it on the little stand I'm using. So. You can get most of it off. So, if you look at that, see that looks kind of smooth. And, um, you're not really going to see the outside of it, and the inside of it is going to be covered with snow. So, let's just test that and see if it's level, and it looks pretty good to me. So, that Dremel tool did a good job of clipping that off. Um, the next thing you want to do is make sure whatever you're putting in is going okay, to fit Okay, so to I got hole. all the edges cleaned off best as I can. Then I'm just going to take and make sure that my snowman will fit inside, and he... He does. He fits pretty good. And um, something I did on the other one, and I'm going to be careful not to do it on this one, is you see this um, ball has a seam in it. Don't put that in front of your snowman's face. Make sure you got him in there with the, the seams on the sides. So, let's see. Let's see if we're going to try to put this snowman on this snowflake. Um, one thing you got to check and make sure is that if, if you're going to use a snowflake as your base, that when you put it down over the hole, that there are no gaps that the snow can come through. This okay, the first thing we're going to do is glue our little um, snowman salt shaker to the middle of this snowflake. This is the LED tea light snowflake. Um, and hopefully we'll get some of that light of action going through the um, snow globe. Anyway, and there's a nice little divot in the bottom of the snowman, and there's a little divot in the middle of the snowflake, so we'll just match those up. So snowman is perfectly centered. Now, if you'll notice, he is a uh, salt and pepper shaker, so there are holes in the top of his head that I don't particularly like. So we're going to cover those up, and let's see. Don't look at my dirty cabinet. I'm going to take a little bowl there, and we're just going to put a little. This snow, y'all, I have got everywhere. It just gets everywhere. But um, in static electricity gets in it, uh, and I just made it snow on my counter. The static electricity gets into it, so it sticks on the inside of the globe, and it makes it kind of cute, really. But anyway, we're going to put a um, drop of snow, uh, glue on top of the snowman, right in those holes. And then we're just going to dip his head in some snow. So, he looks like he has snow on top of his hat. That way, you, you can't notice those little holes, and just little things like that bother me. Okay, now when you um, put your globe over your snowman, make sure that you have the lines on the sides. 
okay so you know where you want to put it and if you cut your hole as big as I did to get the snowman in here and you're using a little LED snowflake like this you will notice that it's gonna leave some gaps in the um, snowflake so what I'm going to do is turn the snowflake upside down and then I'm just going to put a little hot glue on the back to seal up the little holes. You know, you don't put a whole lot. We don't want to melt it. We just want to put enough to, to hold the snow in. So, you can see what I'm doing. Y'all, I'm hoping for Christmas that I get a better camera um, so that my videos will be better. And make sure. Okay. Now, I'm getting the strings off. And then I'm going to turn it up so the glue will drip down. Alright. I'm pull my strings of hot glue off. And let's look at it. I think I got all the holes filled. We're, um... I'm going to say that I did. And then we can see after we get the snow in. I mean, that's the only way to check. So... Oh, and the mistake I made on this other one was, look at that, way too much snow. That snowman is two feet deep in snow, so we're going to put a little bit of snow. A little bit of snow. If I can figure out what a little bit is, but anyway. I'm not very good measurer, I guess. But, okay. That... I get, we're going to put the snowman in. We're not going to glue him in yet. Okay, so now we're going to um, glue our snowman to our snow glue. And through trial and error, error trial and error, I can't talk, I'm sorry. Um, I have glue strings everywhere. And you want to get those off first because once you glue this together, I don't think it's coming back apart. Um... I think the easiest thing to do, to, this, now we're going to um, insert our snowman into the globe and glue it down. Um, I already have the snow in here, so we can't dump it over like that. So, the easiest and less messy way I have determined through trial and error is don't try to put it around the rim and stick this in because you get string and glue all over your figurine and luckily this is glass and it just peels right off so what we're going to do is we're going to put it around the bottom of the um snowflake around this edge get it in there and hope that it's glued now when you do this you can be a little bit messy because i hate this glue gun y'all I, I'm not going to endorse. This is a Craft Bond Elmer's glue gun, and I, I just hate it. Okay, so um, the snow in the snow globe is going to fall down and will stick in this hot glue, so you won't be able to see how incredibly messy this is being right now. But I, if you could figure out a better way to do this, I would love to know. Okay, so I have a generous amount of hot glue on there. I'm going to make sure and keep my lines to the side of my snowman. And then I'm quickly going to stick him in and glue him down. And what do you know? That worked, y'all. Hey, all right. I got him glued down. And it appears to be good. And I see no snow leakage. So, he turned out pretty good. That, that's, that's pretty good. Now, um, let's see if the light up part does anything. I, I don't know. 
if we can see it through the snow and maybe you can a little bit um, it is flashing a little bit maybe I gotta trim off some of that hot glue right there so sit down in the in the base that's a good thing about hot glue it is flexible and you can get it off now set that down in there and that's kind of cute y'all I think I'm gonna put some ribbon around the um, around the candlestick there and we'll see how that looks okay here's our finished project um, I think it turned out kind of cute um, really the LED you can't really see up through the globe like I wanted it to but um, it is cute and you do see a little light in a darkened room you'll be able to see it really good um, I just went with a simple bow uh, maybe I think I have some snowflake stickers if I have some little tiny ones I might put one on there but I kinda like it simple like that but um I think it was worth the effort. I think it's kind of cute. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you'll watch to the end of this video, you can see what I'm going to add to the 1,000 subscriber giveaway box. So, um, everybody have a great Christmas. And I hope to get some more videos up and running um, if I can get my camera to cooperate. Y'all have a great day. All right, everybody, um, this is what was added to the 1,000 subscriber giveaway box. It's a pretty little um, pretty kitty memo pocket notepad. Uh, the box is getting really full, and we're up to 870, I think, now. So uh, I hope that we can uh, get to 1,000 by Christmas so I can send this out and somebody can get a big box of goodies for Christmas. So y'all have a great day and please subscribe to the, my videos, give them a thumbs up and make a comment. I just can't tell y'all how much I appreciate y'all watching my videos and um, how much it has helped me out a lot really. So y'all have a great day. Merry Christmas!